a telescoping pneumatic lift that goes anywhere and sets up in seconds. The Genie Super Hoist is powered by CO2 and able to lift five times its own weight with ease. Thanks for your interest in the Genie Super Hoist. Right now, we're going to show you how to unpack it and how to set it up. You ready to go? I sure am. All right, now any kind of special tools we need? A wrench for a one-time assembly of the pressure regulator. Okay. That comes with its own assembly instructions. That's it? That's it. Let's have at it. Open the box. All right. Inside the box, we'll find a packet. Inside the packet, the operator's manual. We need to remind you that this video is not intended to take the place of the Genie Super Hoist Operator's Manual, because the Operator's Manual has all the safety rules and instructions for the safe use of the Genie Super Hoist. Make sure you read it first, then keep it handy as a reference. Okay, what's next? Want to help me lift it out of the box? Sure. Great. You got her? Yes. All right. I'll get the platform out of here. And I'll set the box out of the way. We're going to simply unbuckle the tank holding bracket from the assembly. And while you're doing that, I'll take the hose and the hand control off the platform. Next, we're going to lower the legs. To do that, simply lift the leg lock and gently lower the leg to the floor. To lock the legs, simply grab the hoist by the main body and lift up. All the legs should lock into place. Visually verify it to make sure. Next, we'll attach the straps to the tank mounting bracket. using these straps, which are just like little seat belts, to just clip around the tank. Give them a good cinch. While we're assembling this, we might also tell you that there's no need to take off this bracket until the tank's empty and in need of refilling. Now, we'll put it on the Genie Super Hoist leg. Okay, now I'll go ahead and put the fasteners on here. Okay. Great. Now we'll install the pressure regulator on the CO2 tank. Hand tight's good enough. Ready? To install the hose and hand control assembly, simply plug the red hose into the base of the Genie Super Hoist and the green hose to the pressure regulator. Turn on your tank. Right. You have the platform. I'll Great. Put the platform on. Same thing, just uh, finger tight. Yep, that'll do it. All right. Great. It's really as simple as that. Great. Now, for safety's sake, make sure you use your Genie Super Hoist only to lift materials, as described in the operator's manual. Safety is our number one priority. And with that in mind, let's learn how to raise and lower a load. Great. We'll take our practice load and center it on the platform. Use straps or ropes to secure our load. Okay. And we'll set our caster brakes. We're now ready to raise a load. The Genie Super Hoist has a hose and hand control with a long hose, so the operator can operate the hoist from a ladder or aerial work platform. To raise a load, simply press the up button. To lower a load, in fine increments, use the down button. When we're done with our job, we can 
lower the load more quickly by using the dump valve. That's all there is to it. As long as you follow the simple safety rules and the instructions in the operator's manual, you'll find your Genie Super Hoist will give you years of trouble-free operation. Thanks for watching. Since 1966, Genie Industries has designed and built the most successful and popular lifting equipment in the world. We introduced the concept of lightweight, portable lifting equipment, and today our lifts set the standard for innovation and flexibility. If you're looking for quality and value, backed by a worldwide service and sales network, the choice is simple. Genie. Worth more. Does more. Lasts longer.